Uh, I'm going to begin by asking if you guys had a kind of long established relationship with this world of the railway children. Because obviously in my household, when I grew up, I had the sort of original film that I used to love. And my, even my, my mum would sort of watch it when she was younger. I just wondered if you, going into this project, taking on these roles, if you, if the, yeah, if this was already a world that meant something to you both. I very distinctly remember watching it, watching the original when I was a little tiny kid, probably five or six years old at home. And... And I did. I didn't watch it again until until I watched it after I joined this this movie. But it, it, it's such an interesting thing. So many people have such an emotional connection with it. So many people give it such a place in their heart. When when you when you talk to people and they say, "What are you doing?" Work wise, and you say, oh, "I'm doing this railway children update." Their faces just light up. Yes, because they do seem to approve, don't they? They really approve it. And 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 it's something about it's something about you know. Certain films, you watch them once and then they stay with you for the rest of your life, those iconic films, and suddenly getting to be in it, in an update of it with Jenny, getting that seal of approval from that from that sort of guardian yeah. of the folklore of it, it was a real thrill. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I only saw it once I came on board, but I remember seeing excerpts from it, the stopping of the train. I remember the young Jenny in that wonderful hat. Um, and, but when having joined... This one, I um, saw the old one and was oh, I thought it was beautiful. Have you do you know Jenny? Have you had the yeah? Well, well, hang on, before. fifty years ago, yeah. Arms and the Man, yeah. <laughs> Jenny Angerton, me, Brian Cox, Arms and the Man at the Royal well, it wasn't the Royal Exchange Theatre then. Yes, hadn't been built in Manchester and touring. Yep. I, I, mean, I was wondering about working. Obviously, it wasn't it's not just sort of Jenny and the one and sort of Sheridan, but you're working with an array of young actors in this and sort of children was there do they have a kind of blissful outlook on life because they don't treat this like work for them it's not really a job it's probably quite fun is that quite an infectious sort of um thing that sort of spreads around the set when you've got so many kids on, on a movie like this it feels like it yeah it feels like they're still doing it because they really love it and it's not it's not that, it's not that you know we don't still love it but I think the further you go into a career you know that every time you do a film there's an expectation to it and and you know you, you're just you constantly kind of suffocated by the weight of the past and other things that you've done. But to see them just starting off and that they've just got such a pure mm. relationship with the job and pure relationship with with the world of it and that that sort of sense of blissful naivety, it's it it really helps their performances because you know that they're, they're playing children that aren't yet kind of sullied by the world and because myself and Tom are so badly sullied by the world by now. It's, especially it, it, you. Especially me, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's just nice to be around... I've come out the other side, because <laughs> I'm so old. <laughs> it was just nice to be around an energy that was so pure and so innocent. Yeah, they're really great kids. Were there any challenges that came of it too? Maybe because... Any I'm, what, sorry? I'm... Just challenges, but with working with, uh, with so many children. No, they're lovely. I mean, there are more challenges working with grown-ups, I can tell you, o often, you know, or oh, there can be. And it's important, I mean, because I thought about, about sort of giving this film to the next generation, how important do you think it is that we study conflicts from the war that aren't just necessarily against the enemy, yeah. but actually against allies? Because that's something you don't really see too often. I, well, I haven't seen too often in films, particularly when I was a child. I don't think I ever saw sort of films that that would show kind of, yeah, conflict and between people supposedly on the same yeah. team. Yeah, well, there's that thing of, of America to which we're so indebted, but as we see now, in which there are elements that are so awful. And, uh, you know, how, how do you put them together with difficulty? And Tom, I was going to ask, do you have many memories from this time? Because I guess you're, would you be roughly the same age as one of the younger kids yeah, in well, this I, movie? I was born in uh, 1937, mm -hmm. so I was a child during the war. I went, we were, had air raid shelters. We went, we were evacuated, but for a week, because to Bridlington from Hull, but my mother couldn't stand it, so we went back to Hull. And we were bombed, yeah. And we went in the air raid shelters. So I remember it vividly. But... When you're that young, you don't know the danger of it. We used to we used to go on the bomb bomb buildings, we call them, and pick, try and find shrapnel. Oh, and you've got a piece of shrapnel, having no notion of how deadly it was if it came your way. So it's different, children, different. 
I, I was, when I watched the original film when I was a kid, I, I, it's one of the films that made me cry so much. <laughs> so, like, it's still, I still remember. It was almost a film that I couldn't watch a second time because I remember how much it made me cry. What did what films? What's the sort of one film do you remember from your sort of youth for your childhood that really really got you? I remember finding E.T. unbearable, like unbearable. Yeah. I, I I remember really having to watch it and really stop myself from turning my head away from it because I found the, the emotional um, sort of peak of it almost overwhelming. I, yeah, that's, that, the emotions just stuck with me very, very, very Yes, I can't remember. I mean, when I saw... Oh, what was Celia's great film? The Railway film, another Railway. Oh, Celia Johnson. What was it called? The, big, the romance with, with Trevor Howard. Oh, uh, Brief Encounter? Yes. Yeah, when I saw that, I just met her. Oh. And was rehearsing with her. So when I saw that on the Friday evening, I was destroyed. I agree on E.T. actually. I actually find it overwhelming to watch that film. I, I haven't been able to watch it since I was younger because even just certain moments in it just make me so overwhelmed. The, the early... e, no, E.T. E.T.? Oh, yeah. no, I never saw E.T. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, gets me every time. Anyway, thank you so much for your time today, guys. Thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.